quick way. There we go. I always think it's funny how the way the world works, like Jess is like, Hey, do you want to go do this again? And we can teach more social media. And, um, I was like, yeah, of course. And then I had some people from another team message me yesterday and they're like, Hey, can we call you and ask you some questions about Instagram? And I'm like, okay. Um, so it was just cool because I had already had most of this planned out and, um, some of the questions that, um, they were asking were just things I was thinking too, that probably we need to, um, discuss here and kind of just make sure that everybody's on that same page too. And so I know I've said some of this before, you know, if you've been on the team for a while and it might be something that you're hearing again, but there are a lot of new people that I want to, uh, make sure that everybody, Sorry, I'm just muting some people. Um, everybody's on the same page with what we're doing. And what I wanna share and what I wanna start doing, okay, is if, well, since I'm doing this every Wednesday, what I wanna do is have like a feed inside, um, like a thread, if you will, inside the Team Hustle page. And I want people to comment what they wanna learn about most because I realized that like my um, desire for social media is probably a lot higher than other people's, right? And maybe some of the things that Julie knows is not some of the things that Nicole knows and vice versa. So what I'll do is I'll start a thread. And as you start to do more things on social media, or as you start to grow more, put things in the thread that you're like, okay, I don't understand that. Or I want to learn more about that. Um, or I want to learn how to edit videos better. I mean, if it's something I can just answer in a question, I will, but if it's something that I can train on, that's what I would love to do so that we can all learn and grow together. Um, one of the things I'm gonna talk about today is, I have a couple things, my notes are long today, but um, I was talking with Jess last night and the biggest thing I feel like most of the time is I never want to overwhelm anyone. Okay, so if something starts to seem overwhelming for you, just halt me and be like, explain that again. Um, because I know that social media is ever changing, even for me. I had to watch a bunch of videos yesterday on stuff I wanted to learn and teach about. Um, but I think the biggest thing is people that are finding success on it are just consistently showing up. That's it. Like I sent just this reel yesterday because every time, and I got on my, my for you page right after to um, grab some reels for us to do. And every time I see her, it's like a slap in the face because this woman is, I have no idea how old she is. She's got to be like in her seventies age doesn't really matter, but um, she's an older lady and she just does every reel you could possibly think of. She lip syncs them. She gets like hundred to 200,000 views. And when I first started seeing her, she only had like 2000 followers and she's in color street. So she does like the little fingernail things and she does all types of reels, funny ones, business ones. Um, I mean, anything. And she has no, no fears. Like one time I watched her doing one and there was like a cat walking behind her on the counter. Like she doesn't care. So you really have to get out of that mindset of where, okay, do I look perfect today? Do I, am I going to lip sync the words perfectly every time? Or am I going to have it all? You're not, you're not, you're not going to every time. And you never know what's going to happen. Um, that's kind of the coolest, most uncertain thing I think people have about social media is Katie knows who I'm talking about. See, she's pretty famous, huh? Um, the, I'd say the coolest, most uncertain thing about social media with people is there like how and what makes things go viral? And I'm on the same boat with you. Um, I'm learning every single day with you. I can tell you some of the things that will help you, but most of the time um, it's consistency. So posting more, when I started posting more like this last, um, I decided to take it real serious into 2022 that I wanted to grow on all my platforms and monetize mostly, not just grow, but monetize and take people from the platforms and, and turn them into my customers and my business partners. Um, and so I was like, I have to start showing up consistently. I have to start figuring out what I'm going to post about instead of just like getting all, oh my gosh, I got to post hurry and then just do something stupid. Right. Um, I decided for me, I want to talk more about my business and my product in, in between my humor, which humor I think of all the time. Nicole Brown would freaking kill, you, you would kill some funny reels because you're just a funny person. Um, there are so many different things that you can do with them and so versatile that you can be. And I'm going to give you guys today a sound 
that we're all going to use. I'm going to give you like, I came up with like three different ones, um, three different like words we can use in them, but that's what I want to do every single week until we all get really comfortable using them. And I think the main thing that you have to remember here when it comes to um, showing up online is it's building your confidence. It really is. If you're having a hard time asking people the hard question, it's usually confidence. If you're having a hard time, and if you've been here for, for what, six years with us now, um, all the time that I've ever trained social media, I've always trained live videos. And I feel like whenever I say live videos, I see like the participants go from like 25 to 22. People are like, nope, screw that. I'm not doing it. Now though, look what it's turned into. It's turned into, it's gone from live videos, which in my opinion are way more scary than reels. You actually have to talk for a certain amount of time about something. And if you forget or you say something stupid, it's on live video. With reels, you can sit and re-edit them. Most of the time you're using someone else's voice or a different song and they're like 10 seconds long max. I don't even think mine are usually 10 seconds. They're like usually eight. Um, so I've been preaching live videos for a long time and now it's turned into this reels. And if you've paid attention, reels are now on Facebook and reels are everywhere. So that's going to be the next thing. And I don't want to miss the train. So that's why I've hopped on it early and tried to be a part of it early and tried to learn more about it. So consistently, consistency, consistently, consistency, whatever, it's all the same. Post consistently. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you? Wait, Jess is going to share with you yeah, guys. Give me like, just one, keep talking. Give me one second to get it pulled up on my computer. I'm going to tell you 100% this lady is just consistent. Nine, uh, 10 out of 10. She's always consistent. She's always on my for you page, even if I don't like her stuff, but because if you go to her page, She's always posting reels and she's just sitting in a chair. She's not like trying to do anything that anybody else isn't doing. She's not going outside and like standing on her balcony and doing all this crazy stuff. You have to just start showing up and putting your own little twist on it. Remember that you're not going after the people that are not like your vibe. I'm trying to say this in a very, like I'm tiptoeing across this in the right way. You're not going to attract the, those people anyway. So like, if you're trying to be someone that you're not, it's not going to help you build anyway. And it's not going to help you attract the right people anyway. So that's my biggest thing too, is when we, you're like, just say it. <laughs> I think about it all the time because I know for so many people, especially my age, there are so many girls that are intimidating on Instagram. They have hundreds of thousands of followers. They're always doing their hair. They always have their makeup on. Everything looks perfect. Their reels are so well edited. I'm not looking for those people because I'm not that person. Majority of my reels, I don't have makeup on. I might have a pimple or he here or there. I, th those are the kind of people I'm looking for, the ones that are not scared to just show up authentically themselves rather than, um, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those girls at all. It's just not who I'm trying to recruit or who I'm trying to be. So it's, it's easier for me to just say like, you know what? I was going to go live this morning, but really funny story. I'm um, banned from Facebook Lives and posting right now. I don't really know why. Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, so I can't go live or anything right now. I don't know what I did, but I'm praying to Mark Zuckerberg. If he could just let me back in, I'd appreciate it. Um, so I was going to go live this morning, see if it was working at like 7.30. I was like, I don't care. Um, 7.30, I felt like I had some stuff to say. Yeah, that's what I should have done was grab Haas's phone. Um, I was just like, man, what the heck? And this is why, too, I think the importance of Reels and Instagram and being more vocal on other platforms is because if your social media on Facebook is shut down for a day, what else are you going to do? You're just going to sit there and pick your nose. I mean, I can still message people, but I have to create content. So I just batched a bunch of reels on Instagram. I batched some stuff on TikTok, and I was like, okay, I got to do something because I had that like spur moment of inspiration where I'm like, oh, I want to, I want to do something right now. And Mark said, no. So, um, I had to do something else, but do you want to share that, Jess? Are you ready? Yeah, I do. And I just want to add to what you're saying. And we may go over our eight, our 30 minute mark today, guys, but it'll be so worth it. Um, this video that I'm going to show you, right? Or this reel, I'm going to show you, I might show you a couple of hers. It's going to, I think, is one of the most important things that can be said today. 
um, or points that can be made today because last night I was giving Sydney all kinds of excuses about why you guys couldn't handle reels yet and why we don't need to be focusing on them and all this stuff. And all she did was come back. There's this lady we share back and forth because we're both just like mind blown by her. Um, and she shared the lady with me again. She's like, but she can do it. And I was like, yep. So this is going to put every single one of you. I don't care if you're Carol. I don't care if you're Jojo. I don't care if you're Julie. I don't care who you are on this. This lady is going to show you right in like 30 seconds that every single one of you can do this. No questions asked. I don't want to hear one more excuse until you do at least what this lady's doing. Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. I don't usually go on Instagram from my computer, so bear with me, hopefully. Oh no, the volume's not working on here. Yeah, I've got a weird thing with my volume on Facebook and- um, click, this, click the little speaker down by her bottom head on the right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, that's one of them. I'm gonna go to her reel so that we can show you a couple. By the way, guys, I have 359 followers on Instagram. She has 6,300, okay? Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. But Uma has it, he's the one I'm leaving you for. All the rumors are true, yeah. Rumor has it, he's the one I'm leaving you for. Wait up. I have a message for you today. You are enough. You've always been enough. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. You are enough. Well, the moral of the story is Everybody's got a purpose. Well, the moral of the story is everybody's got a purpose. I have a question for you. Keep your if you could relive one day in your life, not to change it, but just to relive it, what would it be? I have a question. Okay, that's all I'm going to share. You can go follow her, special Manny Mom. If you want some ideas from somebody that is capable of doing very simple reels and gaining followers. I was peeping your notifications too. Good job. Yours. Like, <laughs> yours. Mine. I don't pay attention to those. Whoops. Yours. You had a hundred likes and 12 new followers. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't pay attention to those. Because I'm getting really consistent on there. Like, yes. really I actually, just one little side note, people are noticing because even my stepdaughter, who's like, you know, younger, much younger than me, obviously, and in the know on social media, um, texted me this morning. She goes, hey, just wanted to let you know your Instagram is lit lately. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Um, and that lady will show you, Julie, I'm laughing at you, all of us old ladies. Um she literally, and if you paid attention, like the two out of the three that she showed, she's wearing the same sweatshirt. So that's one thing I'll tell you is she's batch content, content batching. So when you're feeling inspired or, um, you're feeling like, okay, let me, I've got my hair done or you're just feeling like you're feeling yourself. Okay. We all have those days and we're like, I feel good. I feel like I look good today. Go batch some content. And what I like to do is I send the sounds and even like if another network marketer or someone who sells a similar product to us, if they do a sound or a reel to something that I like and I want to reuse, I send it to myself on Facebook or I send it to Haas. Um, you could have your accountability partners send it to them or just your spouse, especially if you don't do a lot of talking on Instagram. It's easy to go back and just remember which ones you were like kind of trying to mimic. But I always say like take them and really try to make them your own. Um, you're going to put your own twist on them. And one of the things that um, it was Courtney Trotter that met, that called me yesterday, um, she was asking one thing about monetizing on it. She had a reel that like went major viral and she was like, what am I going to do with all of these people? 
So that's one of the things too, just like on Facebook, don't, don't get it like twisted or like it has to be over like overthought or over hard. Um, just like on Facebook, when you get new followers, you're going to go follow back. You're going to check them out first, obviously, just like we do when we add people, but you go check them out first and then send that connection message. The same one that you have on Facebook. Thanks for the, just switch friend request to follow. Thanks for the follow. This is who I am. Here's my sample link. This is what I do. Um, just, I feel like on Instagram though, it's a little bit more businessy. So people are more, I feel like more apt to say yes to whatever we have to try. Um, it's definitely more of a business platform. So when we were talking to, when I was talking to Courtney about content patching and, um, how you can do that because things that are trending. Okay. So I'm going to say almost everybody here watches reels on whatever platform you've watched a reel or you've watched reels before. Um, don't lie to me. Everybody's done it. Um, it's on all platforms now. So it's just in front of your face, even if you haven't seen it. Right. So when you're watching them, maybe you see the same sound come up like two or three times, that same sound coming up two or three times as a trending sound. So there's a couple different ways, obviously, too, that something can go viral. You're going to use a trending sound that's going to help you, okay? And I'll be honest, I don't have the, um, like, the right out of how to go viral. I wish I did. I don't think anybody does because everything is so new and it's always changing. Um, even a couple weeks ago, I posted a TikTok with uh, Julie and Jess and Kelly. We went to this speakeasy, and I was like, I'm just going to post this TikTok because it looks really cool. Um, and it, it had a trending sound with it. It's got like 850,000 views on TikTok. And it gained me though, like over 2,500 fo new followers on TikTok. And that was never the intention. Um, yeah, go ahead. And I don't know if you know, but one of my sisters sent me a text saying, hey, is this you in there? Because it looks like you. And I am like, what? And she's like, oh my God, it's you, you. <laughs> She goes, you're TikTok famous and you don't even know it. So, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> That's so fun. Yes, you're right in the beginning, Julie. Um, yeah, Darlene, that I'm learning more about that. It's got to be from your business profile. So um, that is the other thing too. Facebook, Instagram, all of them, like uh, someone was, Haas was asking me the other day, he's like, so when are we going to start making money from TikTok now? And I was like, <laughs> well, we have to be to a certain like follower point. Um, and you've got to be consistent though, too. That's exactly what I've learned is like, even the more I post videos that don't have as many views as that one, the more it keeps bumping that certain video. Um, so, oh, sorry. I, I keep scrolling out when I look at comments. My bad. Okay. So one of the things I think about too, is, um, when you're looking for something that's trending, and a song that's trending, okay? So send those, those things you keep seeing to yourself, but then remember to yourself, you've really got like 24 to 72 hours for something to, social media moves so fast. It's always, it's moving all the time. It's moving like faster than we can even imagine. Like most of the time I gain most of my followers overnight on Instagram and TikTok, which just tells me people are like up all night on Instagram and TikTok, not me. Um, so you really got to kind of get to it once you find the ones that you like. And then the other part of it too, the other part of the, what will help you go viral is kind of being, um, oh, what's the right word? Like you're going to use a trending sound, but you're going to do something that is a little different. Sorry. I think it's my mom. So you're going to do something that's a little different though, too. Um, like using whatever, um, for me, like my video that went viral on TikTok, it definitely was the sound. It was trending when the sound had come out, but I know 100% it's because people rewatched it again and again, because right when the beat hit, the girl opened the door to the Pringle thing and then we closed it. So think about sometimes when you watch someone's video and like the beat hits and something happens and the video's over, you watch it again and you watch it again and you watch it again. And so every time someone does that, right, it's just more views for you, more views for you. And I will tell you, to be honest, don't sit around and be like, this is where I think myself and a lot of other people struggled when it came to Facebook lives is we were like, well, it didn't get a lot of views. I suck. That's not really the point of here. The point is to get more confident, to be more consistent. 
Um, and when you do have one that finally goes viral, you're already on that train of consistency and confidence so that you can start building after that as well. Because like Courtney and I talked yesterday and I was like, Hey, when did your video, you know, viral? And she's like, it's been like three weeks and I haven't posted anything since. And I was like, Oh, she, so all these people are coming to your page and following you. And they really have no idea what you're doing or what's going on. Cause you've got this one funny viral video and they have no idea what else is going on. So that's why too, when I do some of the reels, I try to not only put in like a twist of my humor and like my life. So one of the ones that I'm going to do today is, um, it was this lady laughing and she says, don't be ridiculous. And I'm going to use like, when are you guys having more kids? Don't be ridiculous. So I always do a funny one in between a business one. And then, so the business one that I want to give to you guys today, and I just, I should have plugged in my phone. Sorry, I did not. Um, you can do, I know that we're all different here. So I know Jess likes to edit on um, Instagram. If you want to send it to me on Instagram, the real, I can share screen again and show it if you want me to. Oh, it's in my drafts. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in my drafts. <laughs> Like, I'm not ready to post it. That's the cool thing too about, um, I feel like when you're editing on TikTok and Instagram, you can put things in drafts. So the days that you're batch doing batch content and you're changing your clothes or even if you keep the same clothes, I don't even care. If you're batching content, good for you, okay? You can put them all inside your drafts. And so I see like a lot of people do transformation pictures. If you're in the ultimate thriver right now, just do a video of yourself spinning around your body when it comes to ultimate thriver time, when you finally have your transformation, you pick a trending sound and match the two videos together. So it's like, you can always use things. You just kind of got to get creative. Um, Jess and I were laughing the other day because she had her birthday in the igloo and we were like, crap, we didn't take any pictures or any videos. You kind of just got to get creative whenever you're out and pull. I know everybody's always like, put your phone down. Well, that's not the kind of business we run. We got to pick our phones up. That's the kind of business we run. We have to be able to like, okay, we're in an igloo. We're, we're videoing the igloo. We're, we're going outside the igloo. Haas is on top of the igloo. Like that really happened too. We should have videotaped that. Um, there, you really have to get creative in some of the things you're doing. Like um, Kristen, cycling all the time. Oh my gosh. I know you do tons of videos about that. Um, I think if we, if you could start doing videos on like why cycling is good for you, why, what, what kind of different cycling there is and like all that kind of stuff that makes people like us that are at home going like, what the, I don't even want to do cycling because I'm just scared. Go ahead. I like how you did it. like you're scared. <laughs> and honestly, I mean, I love the fact that I share health and wellness with everybody, but I do have in our group here, I'm going to share this. I do that as an ulterior motive. You guys all know that when I'm cycling, I'm sporting my dual patch or I'm showing my Lavelle drink cup or I'm showing a group picture with my patches hanging. You know, I am con I'm consistent with that. Sometimes I may not because Cycle Trip asks me to um, sometimes do stuff on their own for their marketing purposes because they know that, that I know how to do these reels. But think about when you guys are doing these things, incorporate it into your natural life without having to be like, bleh. you know what I'm saying? That's all I have to say. Yeah, no, that's a perfect, I think you um, and Jojo, I watch you guys all the time. You guys do a great job with just trying to incorporate your natural life in with your business and your product and our service. And so that being said, when you're using these reels, okay, the, if you need a whole breakdown on how to get, like, I don't even know where to get started. I need you to go in, look at one use, click use sound. So depending on if you're using Instagram or TikTok, I would say this is my best advice to you too. Okay. If you're someone who gets on TikTok and gets lost in a rabbit hole, please do not use it to edit your stuff because you will be forever lost in the rabbit hole. You won't be editing your stuff. Um, I, I mean that politely in Instagram, you can save your stuff. So you can save your reels after you do them and you can post them to all the places. You can do the same thing with TikTok, but in Instagram, I feel like a lot, of, maybe you're more focused on what you're trying to do. TikTok can just be so squirrely for some people. I'm one of those people. So I'm just being vulnerably honest with you. Um, go ahead. Sorry, Sid. I know this is your Zoom and we keep interrupting you. Okay. I, 
I know it was really hard for me to get started in this arena and I complained about it a lot and everybody heard me complain about it a lot because I didn't see the value. Now I'm doing the look a year out, Jessica, this isn't for today. This is for a year from now when you have a bunch of followers and then you can, you can monetize on that. So this work right now is planting seeds. It's not about getting my next customer right now. It's not about getting my next promoter right now, but I will say for me, and I'm pretty tech savvy. TikTok has too many things on there when you're editing that it gets very confusing to me. Reel seemed much simpler to do like record, edit, uh, whatever, and you can draft it so you can save all those. The other, the last thing I'll tell you is what I found is TikTok has um, their watermark on it and it moves around and it's very hard to edit that watermark off of their videos to batch it over to Reels or to Facebook. Um, if you record on reels, you can, it saves to your camera roll. You can cut the bottom of the screen so you can cut out Instagram's um, watermark and I rebatch it onto my Facebook reels and I rebatch it onto my TikTok reels the minute I do it. So all, it goes out on three platforms within five minutes because I can edit so easy in reels, but we'll get to all of those little tips and tricks. What Sydney's doing today is just trying to get you guys in the mindset again and then create a very simple one. So we just have you hands-on and doing it. And for those of you who are going to the mastermind, get ready, buckle up, because we're going to do a lot of them and you're going to be a pro by the time we leave. Yes, I'm excited about that. And that's why I try not to um, overwhelm. So like, it's best for me if someone says like, okay, this is where I'm overwhelmed so I can help um, in that realm. I'm also going to give you guys, because I know we're getting close to it, I'm going to start creating like weekly content batching for you, not just for reels, but for your social media, because um, Jess is 100% right. This is for long-term gain, not short-term gain. If you're somebody who's like short-term game, I need you to put your um, horse things on and focus on the long-term because this is exactly what it's about. And especially with the reels and all the things like live videos like that, they can go viral four weeks from now. So if you post it, or if you're not posting at all, right, it's kind of like when you're not working your business right now, how it affects you six months down the road. So if you're posting right now, you have the opportunity in a month, maybe something will go and take off. And think about too, if we're recruiting people to a social selling business, a money, make money online, and you're not really ever online or doing things online, do you think people are looking at you going, how are they going to teach me how to do those things online? Very simple, right? I bet you that special Manny lady's got a bunch of people joining her because they're like, if she can do this, I can do this. If she can figure out reels, I can figure out reels. So what I want to give you guys today is, sorry, that wasn't me, is the, uh, it's okay, babe, is I send it to Jess and I wish I had, there was a way I could send it to everybody. I don't think there is, but what I want to use is the, um, the sound, I'm the man. So if you've seen it um, on any, if you've seen it, how you're going to save it is you go to the bottom of whatever reel it is. And like the sound is going to go along the bottom with like a little arrow, that little arrow going up when you see that arrow going up tells you that sound is trending. So that's your opportunity to check it out immediately. Um, this sound only has like a couple 1300 views on it right now or 1300 people have made reels on it. So it's a trend and it's already a trending sound, but it's the one where she, they say, go ahead and tell everybody I'm the man, I'm the man. And so, you send it to me said, now sit here in the background, try and figure out how to get it to everybody because everything you just said right now, probably two months ago, I would be lost. And so I, mm -hmm. I'm sitting behind all of these screens. They're going trending sound. What? I um, will forget trending sound. Just find the sound. And I send it to you. How already. do they find the sound? Yes. I don't even know how to do that to this day. So I know if I don't know how to do it. I'm just telling you because I'm lost. I won't lie. See, I just know this is what scares me about the reels is we are going to lose people. So I just, we got to find out the most, figure out the most effective way for people to follow along with what we're doing. And I know you're also probably trying to hurry right now because we're already at that mark, right? So yeah. why don't we just slow down? If you have the time, let's figure out how to share a screen or something and show this to them. And we can keep recording. If people have to hop off, I'm going to load this to YouTube and they can watch it later. Does that sound better? Because I'm so scared we're going to lose people and then they're going to tune out of this altogether. This, yes. That's been my fear all along. 
And Carol, thanks for saying you're lost because I like that. I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna try to log into my face, my Instagram on, uh, oh, I changed my Instagram name. Okay, so if you go to, let's just do Instagram. So if you go to your Instagram and there's a little magnifying glass on the bottom, everybody see that? And when you click it, it's gonna bring up a whole, thank you, because I can't get into my Instagram on my computer. Where's the magnif, I see going for my computer for me is a little bit harder because. Oh yeah, it's not showing you on your computer. You could use a search bar right there. Okay. And just type in, I'm the man. Can you click enter before clicking any of those? It just goes to the first one in that search list. I don't like the computer. I know. And I, I can't plug my phone. My phone, when it plugs into the computer, doesn't work. Um, let me go. I'm on demand workout. Is that correct or no? No. So if you're on your phone on Instagram, well, there's Mel doing her thing. There's a little magnifying glass on the bottom next to the home. Does everybody see that? Yep. When you click it, it's gonna bring up your, it's called an explore page. Sorry, I was brightening it for you. That's too bright. So then at the top, there should be a search bar. And if you type in, I'm the man, it's gonna give you like options to follow people. But I usually, someone found it. I guess so I, I'm, I'm unmuted. <laughs> I'm gonna try to play it because I just I just sent it to my messenger and oh so okay. hang on. So when you go in here and you're typing, like if you're looking for something specific, so this is why it's easier to save them when you find them and you like them. But obviously, I'm gonna try to find what I'll try to do next week is when I give you guys the real, I'll try to find a better way to get you guys the sound an easier way. Um but what you can do is you can go and either click on the hashtag. That's how I found it. So if you see, there's the I'm the man hashtag right there. If you click on it, it brings up a whole bunch of people doing that same video. But you can also along the top, there's audio. So if you click the audio, it's the first one. Okay, I can play it for them. You want me to play it for them? Yeah, they once they found it, what it is. So it says like the man, Aloe Black, I'm going to say his name is. I can send a screenshot in the chat so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. But what you'll do is you'll click save audio underneath it right underneath it, and then just make sure it clicks over to save. Anybody lost right now? Speak, please. Yeah, it's, this is what I've said before. It's almost like I feel like this has to be done in person, but I know that that's impossible. So um, I'm trying to think from a learner's perspective, Sid, because this has been one of the hardest challenges for me, and I know it's super easy for you. So maybe if I can be the inner like the, the intermediate person. Um, the one thing I would say about saving audios that didn't end up working for me. I, it's great. I save the audio and then I cannot remember what I wanted to do with it. So when I find one that I like, I send it to Ken immediately. So first and foremost, find your person or the account that you have that you can send all of your ideas to that you don't sit and message message with on Instagram. If it's your husband, your kid, whoever, um, set everyone that you find immediately forward it to that account so that it sits in that messenger feed. Because I have found that is the best way for me to go back when I'm ready to make content or batch five or seven of them. I have a whole list of the ones I want to do in Ken's, in my messenger with Ken, and I can just click through them really quick and figure out which ones I want to do right then and there. So first and foremost, I would find that save the audio is great because you have the audio, but then you have to remember what the person did. And if you don't have that saved anywhere, 
you only have the audio and you gotta be like, wait, what was that for? Let me go back and try to find a video where someone did what I wanted to do. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's a great idea. Yeah, because a lot of the time for me, I'm not always making the same things. So yeah, that's easier to remember content. And can I give it? You guys can I say have something? to just try these. You have to just get in there and start fiddling with it. Until I did that, no, no amount of anything Sydney was trying to tell me to do or show me on her screen or any of that was working for me. I had to go in there and fool with it and fool with it until I got it right and it started making sense to me. And until I did that, it, it wasn't going to work. So I will say, there's you just have to jump in. You just have to jump in and start. You don't have to post it. You can always save it to your drafts at the very end. And if you're like, I still don't get how to do this, but it's sitting in my drafts now. So when I find Sydney or I find Jessica, or I find Kristen, or I find somebody who knows how to do these, I can show them what I have in my drafts. Cause that's what I did with Sydney. I'm like, here's what I have now. I don't know how to put the letters across the screen. Right. So at least get in there and just start one of them. Go find that sound. If you can send it to yourself. I said, I was trying to think of like, could we make a fake Instagram account and just um, Start yeah. sharing every I, reel to I just did mine yesterday. So I'm just gonna post it and then they can just grab the sound from my Instagram. But I mean like all can the I... ones you're gonna do. Hang on, Kristen, we will get to you, I promise. Uh, Say that again. All the ones that all the ones that you're gonna have them do, like all the ones that we find that are really great ones for them to take and redo. Like how you were saying let me figure out a way to get them to everybody. I was like, what if we just created a fake Instagram account and everyone that we found, we just shared it to that Instagram account. Like you don't have to log into the Instagram account. We just posted it to them where everybody could find it. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out a way for everybody to be able to find it, what you're talking about and send it to themselves. Yeah. Cause it, you're okay, not going to necessarily off? post every single Kristen. I promise we're going to get to you. I promise <laughs> uh, you're not going to necessarily post every single one. That's a good idea. Right. Or you might be having them in your drafts while other people could be working on them. I don't know. We just need to find a way that people can grab them. One yeah. For now, I'm going to post this one on my Instagram. So if you guys want, you can just go to my Instagram and grab the sound. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry, Kristen, go ahead. I'm going to shut up now. Okay. Sydney. So this is how I save my, the ones I like. Okay. Down at the, down at the bottom of when you're doing your reels, when you're watching your reels and you like a sound, you like a video, you like an approach or whatever, there's that little, looks like a paper airplane. You hit that <clears throat> and then you go in there like you're going to create a story, like share, share it. And like, you're going to create a story. And then what I do from there, I download it up in the top right-hand corner and it saves to my camera roll. And then I have it forever. And it doesn't have to be on anybody's account, but yours. Okay. I'm going to pause that idea. I like it. It works for you. I'm telling you when I go to find a bunch of them and I'm going through reels, the fastest, easiest thing to do is send them to an account that they will just sit there in the messenger. You yeah. can, you can go back to your whole list. You don't have to scroll through your camera roll. You don't have to learn how to download them. You don't have to do any of that. You just hit send, 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 okay. send, 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 send. And they sit in Ken and my messenger and we don't talk in Instagram. So I really do think that's the easiest way for people to do it. They don't have to learn how to do anything, but hit the send button. They don't have to go find it anywhere because they know it'll always be in that inbox and they're all listed in order. Every single one of them that you liked. So I'd yeah, say so maybe grab someone on the team that you can have an accountability with on Instagram that you guys can send back and forth to each other. Yes. That's what Sid and I do. We send, that's how we found that lady. <laughs> yes, that is. Um, I'm going to post this one because I recorded it yesterday. And like I said, if you go to my Instagram, you'll be able to just grab the sound from the top of my reel. Let me post it and then I can. Um, and then one thing I always do too is share it to my stories. That's like a must for me always. Um, sorry, it's moving at snail speed. Oh, someone's announcing they're pregnant. Okay, come on. So if you go to the top of the reel, when you go to my um, Instagram, I just found it. <laughs> if you go to the top of my reel, or the bottom, sorry, right down the bottom, it's gonna go along the bottom. It actually has my name on it because I took the audio, the one that's going across. When you click it, you can just use the audio. Or like Jess said, you can just send my thing to 
your spouse for now until you get home from work and you remember, okay, I need to do something with that. What I did, are you really going to show people how to make money from home? You could do, are you really sharing the easiest vitamins? Um, are you really going to work a business from online? It's just something that would, those are my three that I think would work best um, because it just goes with, you know, yes, I am. Yes, I am. But if you have something more creative, take it, make it your own. I was just giving some tips to make it easy and to get it out posted because that's a good sound to use right now. Um, but again, I don't want this to be confusing for anybody. So I really just want you to go in there and try to figure out, do your best to try to figure out how to use it. What I can really tell you is I've done some trainings about reels before. Um, to save everyone good amount of time, if you need basic, basic, basic training, YouTube University. They will give you, you can look up a basic beginner video on how to post, how to, because I just know everybody's on different pages and it could take us hours to sit here if we went through like what everyone's needs are. Um, if you need like the basic of how to even post it or start it, there are so many YouTube videos that within five minutes, you'll know how to, to at least post one. I um, mean, like Aaron Durrell was saying too, you can just use pictures from your camera roll. Super easy to get started. But if you grab that one and just work on one a week. So the one that I give you per week, just focus on trying to nail that one down. And then we'll go to the next one. And I promise you guys, it will get easier and it will get easier and it will get easier. And the other thing I'm going to do is I have seven days of content just for your basic social media. I'll post that in the um, team hustle page right now. And I'll make that other thread if you guys have questions. And maybe next week we can go into, um, yeah, do you understand the assignment? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, seriously, though, because next week- Don't make I would me laugh. What'd you say? You said, don't make me laugh. <laughs> uh -huh. so, <laughs> that's my favorite one. Zane loves to do that one, too. But what I'll do next week is I'll go back and I'll do some more real stuff. And so if you haven't done anything by next week, then you're going to keep having issues. So try to start looking at it now and start trying to do it now. You've got one for the next seven days. Just do one. Don't overwhelm yourself. You don't need to do 1500 or once a day or whatever. Just do one for the next week. And then that way, next week, when we come back on, you can say like, Sid, this is where I struggled. This is where I had a hard part or this is what I really thought was super easy, or thanks for sharing this, this really helped. Um, yeah, and the other part, if you don't have a business Instagram, so like Jess was saying, we wanna look at your insights, that's the most important thing. If you're just gonna post and not have a business account on Instagram, you're kind of wasting your time because the insights are really what's gonna tell you what helped you. So like when you look at your insights, um, for example, people always say, when should I post a reel? go look at your insights, go see when your followers are on the most. But if you don't have your account set to business and it has to be set to public as well. So public first, then business. If you need help with that, I can help you. Um, but that will give you all your insights. They don't have a ton of insights for reels yet, but they'll get more as it becomes more of a thing. Um, for now, they just kind of tell you which ones, like how much they've been shared and that kind of stuff. But even your insights on your followers, you want to know that kind of stuff, because if you want to post every morning at 6 a.m. and no one's awake, you're wasting your time. So it's important to know those insights. And again, that can all be done in the settings on your Instagram. So I would do that first before you even post your first reel is switch your account over to business and to public so that you can do that. Um, I feel like you guys probably don't have any questions, but if you do, you know where to find me. Thanks for hopping on. I hope this was not confusing for you or just a little bit confusing. Um, no, you don't have to pay for a business. Just when you switch it over, it's actually called a professional account now. Figured that out the other day when I was trying to help someone with it. It's called a professional account. Go ahead, Jess. When everybody gets this one reel done, and please don't pause just because you're like, I just don't know what to do. Just please dig in and ask questions. But when you get it done, can you um, please send it, share it into... Can they share it into the Facebook messenger chat from Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I was like, wait, because I know when I share it to my, when I share my reel to my story, it doesn't transfer over to Facebook stories like everything else does. Yep. Yeah. And just get started. Like she said, literally, if you have some extra time today and you're like, I don't even know where to go, just click on YouTube and click on how to make a reel. And the easiest, most basic videos will come up on just the basic 
here's how you get started. But I promise you, it's really not that hard. And if you have a kid in your house, like over the age of 10, they can probably, Zane does reels better than I do most of the time. And he's only five. So it is super easy. Just, you've really got to get your hands into it. So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, post them in the hustle and grow chat so that other people that might have the same questions, we can answer them collectively. Um, I appreciate you. And this will be up on the YouTube channel too. See you next time.